Okay, <clears throat> so today we'll be talking about how to shop online safely. So first it's introduction, then online security, payments, recognizing scams, steps to take if you're getting scammed, and in the end we have a video to watch. So introduction, online shopping has changed the way we shop. With just a couple of clicks, you can purchase almost anything ranging uh, from groceries to high tech devices. As online shopping grows, so do the associated risks. It is important to know these risks to avoid and even to try and combat them. The growth of online shopping. Online shopping has grown rapidly within the past couple of years, especially with COVID-19, when all of us were stuck in our homes. Those large companies like Amazon has made purchasing simple and offering all sorts of methods of online payments. They also make it so that purchasing anything only takes one or two clicks. Shopping online, shopping threats. While there is convenience and accessibility, there are also threats that consumers should be aware of. Phishing scams and a major concern where people are fooled by fake emails looking to use, use your personal information. So it is important that you check the sender is credible and to be extra careful trying to try and going directly to their main web page and refrain from clicking links sent to you. How to identify a legitimate website. Before making any purchase online, it is important to verify that the website you are on is trustworthy. A way to check is if the URL starts with HTTPS to ensure a secure connection. A real website would have clear contact information that include a legitimate address, number, and a way to reach customer service. Online reviews are a great way to see if others have had a great experience. Safe online payment practices. Making sure you are using secure payment methods is important to protect your information from scams. Try to use trusted digital payments services like PayPal, Google Pay, or Apple Pay because these services are secure and offer some of the best fraud protection. Be aware of sellers asking specifically for you to do a wire transfer, cryptocurrency, or gift cards as they are often untraceable methods of payment. Recognizing fake reviews and sellers. It is important to recognize the fake scams that companies often put in order to entice potential customers. Be aware of when products have ab an abnormal amount of five-star reviews that are short and overly enthusiastic with the writing. Example, five stars, this is the best product ever. Amazing quality and super fast shipping. This review is overly positive with nothing specific with the actual product. And this is the product, sweater. Safe browsing habits. Ensure that you web your web browser is updated in order to protect yourself from security vulnerabilities and cyber threats. Be cautious when pop-up ads and suspicious links appear on your browser. It is also important to try not to make purchases when using a public Wi-Fi. Protecting personal information. It is crucial to protect all of your personal and financial information. If possible, only provide the bare minimum necessary information asked to make the purchase. Avoid sharing important information such as your social security card number. When making one-time purchases, try not to save your payment information on that website. Check return and refund policies. Prior to making the purchase, it is import important that you read the return and refund policies of the retailer to ensure that if you were to get the wrong product, or some clothing that does not match the fit that you have a smooth return or refunded experience. Be aware of fake apps and social media scams. Cyber criminals can create a fraudulent shopping apps that have malicious intent to steal personal and financial information. 
Be cautious of too good to be true offers or accounts promoting limited time deals with suspicious links. It is the best to just use larger and reputable online retailers. What to do if you get scammed? If you have fallen victim to an online scam, it is important to act quickly to make sure more damage is not done. The very first thing to do is contact your bank or credit card company and report the fraudulent transaction. Depending on your bank, they often have certain protections put in place and give you the opportunity to freeze your account or reverse the charges.